for more on uh, the Vikings, let's check in with our own Mike Mayock, who is the color analyst for the Vikings preseason uh, play-by-play team. And, and there you are. You're in your, your Vikings purple there, Mike. I'm sporting the purple tonight, Fran. How long can we expect to see Brett Favre play? At least one series. Now, if, if they go three and out, they might put him back in a second series. But the interesting thing, Fran, is I've talked to just about everybody in this organization, from Brad Childress to Daryl Bevel, the offensive coordinator, and Kevin Rogers, the quarterback coach, who kind of looked at me about 20 minutes ago and said, I hope we don't get him killed tonight. We're playing a 3-4 team. We haven't even practiced against the 3-4. And it's really Brett Favre who's driving the decision to play tonight. He really wants to play for him regardless of the situation. But why then take the risk? I mean, if he's only going to play for a couple of series at that point, why even put him in that situation then? Because next Saturday night or next whatever they play on the nationally televised game at Houston, he's going to have to play close to a half of football. The amazing thing is he stepped in here on Tuesday, signed his contract, got his physical, and the verbiage and the formations and the pass protections are so similar to what he did in Green Bay, he's got about 90% of that already. Whereas last year when he was a New York Jet, it was almost roughly like going to Paris, France and trying to order dinner. That's how different the verbiage was for the Jets. Okay, uh, what does this mean now for uh, Tavares Jackson, Sage Rosenfels, and John David Booty? Well, first of all, Sage won't play tonight. He hurt his ankle last week, hasn't practiced all week. So Tavares Jackson will get the majority of snaps, most of them behind the offensive line. And what it really comes down to me is an organizational decision between two quarterbacks. You have to assume Rosenfels is going to be the backup. So you've got to look at the two young guys, Tavares Jackson, fourth-year player, J.D. Booty, of course, only a second-year player. The differential in salary is only about 150 grand. So the bottom line is, behind closed doors, who do you think is going to be a better quarterback down the road? I know uh, you're very high on Percy Harvin. We're going to get our first opportunity to see him in game action. Uh, So what should fans expect? Get your popcorn ready. (laughs) Okay? I mean, to use a T.O. phrase, I watched just about every snap this kid had at the University of Florida last year. He's explosive. He's quick. He's tough. He catches the football, so if the Vikings return the opening kickoff, keep your eyes peeled for number 12, okay? He'll be back for the opening kickoff. He may return a punt or two, and Fran, he's going to line up everywhere. They might be a little vanilla with him because they don't want to give away too much, but Brett, I was told that Brett Favre watched him twice the first day in practice and said, you got to be kidding me. i got something special here.